Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to From the Depths again. Stable update 3.4.3 and I'd just like to point out that I think I failed to cover the beta version of 3.4.3 uh, because looking at it I think I, I think I yeah I did completely forget to cover it because it was very small and I didn't think it had uh, anything interesting in it but here's the stable update and this is just a quick overview uh, to basically remind everyone including myself of what's changed please enjoy uh, this big dancing robot uh, while I read it out so what is up Depthians this build has a number of tweaks fixes and some new additions we're also pleased to say that the game now fully supports Russian localization. However, however, if you feel that something is incorrect, please let us know. With the update to the Unity engine in 2021, and after reviewing a number of crash reports, we decided to turn off incremental garbage collection. This should resolve uh, some from games crashing. The animation block has had a few new additions as well as breadboard. This will allow you more customization and animation via any triggers that you wish to use with the droid model. These functions will allow you to manipulate bipedal model limbs that use IK, I don't know what that means, as well as choosing one of the preset animations. You can also adjust the size of the model via the animation block UI, choose a pose slash preset animation from the large selection via the drop-down list. Uh, so that's why this robot is giant. The standard droid is fully functional with the animation block and breadboard. We will be releasing more models as DLC in the future, uh, which will also allow you to use custom bipedal models that have a proper, uh, proper spelt funny, uh, <laughs> too, too many P's, uh, that will have a proper IK setup. If you feel that something in the change log uh, needs explaining further, I read that badly. If you feel that something in the change log needs explaining further, let us know in the comment section or DM me, that's John, uh, in Discord. So let us go uh, through the change log now. So it is now possible to change which display from the depths is displayed on. I would show you that, but you are watching a recording um, that was made with software, so if you really can't tell. Uh, changes. APS. Heat secondary body for APS is only 70% of a head now. Final power is unchanged beyond the 5% base buff. Hash base power up by 11%, heat base power up by 5%. Squash and shape charge base power increased by 15% for APS only. Missile heat is the same. That sounds very familiar. It feels like I've read that out before. I'm not sure where. And I, no, I don't mean the beta update that I uh, failed to read out that one time, but something else. Okay, campaign. Some of this, like, yeah, some of this very, feels very familiar. Um, I think some of these notes might be in more recent uh, beta test uh, updates as well. Uh, because, yeah, I'm getting a real sense of deja vu here. Okay, campaign. At the maximum difficulty level, the player's faction strength is now overestimated by... Oh, here's a formula. Uh, times 3 plus 5 million rather than times 10 plus 10 million. Uh, I think... That means that uh, the AI uh, won't be as hard on you. There is a new slider for diplomacy slash strategic AI aggressiveness. Uh, this used to be included in design difficulty slider. You can now have a more diplomatic campaign against the hardest vehicles or all out war, uh, but with easy vehicles. And actually there is a way, and uh, let's go look at that. I haven't looked at that. I want to go look at that. So let's go new campaign. Quest for Nita, not actually gonna uh, roll it, so let's start with the custom settings. So, uh, combat less challenging. Uh, you are perceived as appropriately unthreatening. Prioritize attacking you and gang out to declare war on you, so let's see. As more potent than you are, massively overblown. You are seen as an existential threat that few would risk dismissing. Okay, so this is how to make them more aggressive towards you, I guess. All right, that's um, that's cool. And then this uh, is the design difficulty. So if you do something like this and this, everyone declares war on you, but um, uh, with easy vehicles. But if you do uh, something like this over there, uh, you get uh, fewer things sent at you, uh, but they're more challenging, which is very interesting. 
I should go and recreate my dancing robot. And let's do... Let's have our dancing robot again, because we can do that. And in case you're wondering how this works, just go here, scale, wee, and let's have it... Okay, so this is all a... Uh, uh, oh my word. Uh, anime stuff. Uh, let's go here, uh, dance, chin drop, what's that? Yep, chin drop, there we go. Oh, look at him, he's on a pole. Okay, where were we? Alright, so diplomacy, at least one of the available options should now not cost any commodities. Garbage collection, turned off incremental garbage collection to see if it improves stability. Um, Alright, uh, missiles, checks for invalid components added to missile loading and some other places. Uh, where it was missing. Default missiles for newly placed launch pads improved. Initial speed for drop is bomb option in rail gantries reduced from 30 to 25 meters per second. So, what this means, in case anyone's wondering, is that uh, there was an exploit. Uh, I don't think it's specifically to solve this, it just happens to solve it. Um, with missiles. So, if I do a small launcher here, you'll see that it defaults to a missile interceptor. And if you do with a mi medium missile... Uh, same thing, it defaults uh, to an interceptor, and back in the day, uh, which wasn't that long ago, if you do the same thing with a large missile, um, it would also default to an interceptor, but now it doesn't do that, which is um, much more sensible, actually, and now you really can't uh, do this at all. And in fact, if you go here, and whoops, if you... Copy all to matching pads. You can't get large interceptors involved. I've mentioned this before. It's worth mentioning again in case anyone missed it. Uh, because, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a change. Uh, and, in fact, I need to retrofit some of my craft as a direct result. Okay, you go away because the dancing robot needs a spotlight. Okay, where were we? Um, brrr, wheels. It is now possible to only display the spring and axle for a wheel and not the block attachment. Okay, cool. Right, so I am going to read out the fixes, uh, which I don't always do, because some of them uh, seem to be uh, kind of important. So, ACB controller. ACB controllers now work correctly if they are spawned in a destroyed state and are then repaired. Okay, good. Animation block. Uh, fix the breadboard to animation block filtering by name. Breadboard. Fix an issue where some breadboard components would run their logic more than one time per frame. One shot component will now correctly correctly only activate once. The first input out there. The first output of the steering info component now indicates whether the mainframe's movement is turned on or off. Bugs. Uh, fixed fortress turbines taking damage but out of power if the language is changed from English. Wow. Um, campaign. Uh, fixed strategic AI moving fleets through terrain they cannot move through, resulting in fleets getting stuck. Oh, thank goodness. I was being very cheeky in exploiting that in times gone by. Uh, fixed a rare issue with the strategic AI would not correctly change the path of a fleet if its destination changed. Uh, fleets with the patrol route setup will now properly save and load the waypoint they were moving towards. Aha! I was wondering about that. So, I think I was actually having trouble with that very bug at some point and didn't even realize. Diplomacy. Fixed a problem, uh, preventing the player from getting options uh, with a lot of enemies. EMP. EMP charges can now travel between constructs. Ooh, let's test that. Let's test that. So let us have a sub-object. Let's have a spin block. And go da 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 And if I put a delicious AI thingy here, and I have my EMP tool, um, uh, let's see, let's see what happens, yay, okay, that's very convenient, that is very, very convenient, and I actually am going to leave this right here for a second, because I think there's another change, uh, that is kind of important. Okay, so EMP, blah, blah, blah. Explosions! Uh, explosions should now be rounder. It probably won't change a thing as no explosions reach their max radius. Okay, cool. Fleet movement. A fleet with a land unit will no longer move over water. Grid casts. Fixed a rare problem causing grid casts with an alignment very close to a construct's rotation to miss. Don't know what that means. Hologram projector. 
hologram projector now work hologram projectors now work correctly if they are spawned in a destroyed state and then repaired impact impact damage can now travel between constructs this is important because uh, it means that uh, anything that does thump damage is now uh, way more scary so let's go here let's we Much, 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 much damage. So, uh, it should mean that those wooden blocks get destroyed if I do this. Hey, excuse me. Oh. Oh, it's just not very much damage. Okay. No, don't repair anything. Okay, there we go. There you can see it. Um, so that means... Uh, this. I'm so glad that in the uh, alpha test... Uh, this gets changed slightly. So there, and then we go here. One, two, three. Yeah, see that little wooden block of damage. Okay, so um, the Megalodon just got a way more scary uh, because it means that you can't uh, uh, use sub-object cheese to defend against uh, giant thumpy things. That's uh, good news and bad news. All right, lasers. Lasers fired through non-AI, non-manual methods will keep aiming forward as they are rotated. Uh, charged lasers will fire if either continuous or pulse shot does more damage than the minimum damage set in the output regulator. Alrighty. Uh, Lua. I f keep forgetting about Lua. Uh, added functions to get the number of subconstructs and to get information for a specific subconstruct by index similar to the other APIs. <gasps> Replaced outdated propulsion methods with new functions, uh, add propulsion request, set, pro set propulsion request, and get propulsion request. Uh, the docking station now uses the correct IDs to identify friendly vehicles for all functions. Weapons uh, fired by Lua can now hit missiles. Ooh. Lua Seawers. Neat. Uh, missiles. Uh, fixed uh, large and huge rail gantry missiles some, uh, sometimes getting tangled in their gantry when being dropped as bombs. Yes! I've experienced that bug. Uh, separator. Separating or attaching a vehicle while the player is in a chair will no longer eject the player from the chair except for multiplayer clients. Uh, steam. Fixed steam transmissions. Uh, not their inputs RPM limit for their gear ratio in some cases when loading. That reading that hurt my brain. Transparency. Uh, changed render cues for smoke and shields to render properly in front of and behind glass. Video block. Uh, playing local video is now working again. Wheels. Uh, the suspension, spring, axle, and block are now displayed slash hidden correctly uh, when the setting is changed, when loading the blueprint, when repaired or placed as a prefab. And wings. Uh, effective speed for wings is kept at the speed of the main construct. So. Uh, that's bears another reminder uh, for anyone who didn't know or had forgotten is that uh, one of my favorite things to do uh, recently was make a uh, very exploity craft. Let's see, let's see, test vehicles. There's a. Okay, let's go find internal wing plane. Is there another one? I think it's. Nope, that's not where it is. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, okay, this will do. Uh, so this thing. Not that thing. Something different. So this... Oh, interesting. This is actually moving. Huh. Interesting, interesting. So... Okay, uh, this is still working apparently. All right, um, I was gonna say like let's go have a look at that. Effective speed for wings is capped at the speed of the main construct. So that means that this kind of spin block wing uh, that I'm using right here uh, shouldn't work, uh, but it still does for some reason. This should not be moving at um, well any speed actually. Let's go here 
And it still moves. It still moves. Not sure what's happening here. Uh, because this is very cheaty and I could c and I did confirm uh, in other tests that this didn't work, but apparently it still works, so that's weird. Not sure uh, what that's meant to do. Okay. For clarity's sake, uh, this is, um, I think that's specific, that little bug fix is specifically to stop people doing exactly this, but it doesn't seem to have worked? I don't know, maybe it's not playing well uh, with alpha te uh, with alpha test. Uh, or beta test. So that's basically it uh, for this little stable update. It's uh, it's uh, small things here, there, and everywhere. I think the biggest changes are the sneaky bug fixes um, with EMP and impact. Uh, everything else is just kind of uh, shiny and distracting. Uh, do note that you can't um, kind of uh, cheese um, EMP or thump damage anymore by, you know, just uh, spamming sub-objects all over the place. Um, that does mean that things like, uh, what's it, uh, the Basking Shark are, like, really, really dangerous now, because it means that, uh, even if they hit a tiny little sub-object, they will still, like, rip your ship in half. Just so you know. Uh, just so everyone is aware. So, that's quite enough waffling from me. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and thank you to the devs for continuing to update this wonderful game. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.